give it back. Give what back? My eyeliner. I scooped up all of your makeup out of the sink, but I didn't see any eyeliner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jack's Cosmetics, charcoal grain. It cost me $18 and it was barely used. So don't even think about accidentally finding it in your purse after the next date with your Greek zillionaire. Well, you know, you can look at my dresser if you want, all right? Now, thanks to you, I have to go to the mall and get some more shampoo because you used up the last of mine this morning. And what's the rush? Your hair's already clean. Oh, unless you have a date with Nick. His name is Nicholas, thank you very much. Oh, right, all right, Nicholas. Nicholas with a K. Is it just me, or is that weird? Do you need anything, Graham? No, nothing that I can think of. Uh, but we may be gone by the time you get back. All right, I'll see you later then. Mm -hmm. Well, have fun on your day. Don't get in any trouble. Right, like they could. They're so <clears throat> clean together. Such a well-scrubbed couple. Mm. Sometimes I wonder how your sister puts up with you. Hey. Hey. You know, I was beginning to think I'd been stood up. I'm on time. Hmm. Almost. Yeah, almost. Well, you know, I have this thing about notes, because you leave one on the kitchen table, and all you can do is hope that the person gets it. I did, and I'm here. What's wrong? And I offer to take my nephew to lunch. Anytime. Look, you know me. I, I do better when I know what's on the agenda. Okay. I promised your father that I would stay out of your business. But I couldn't help noticing that you were a little upset the other night. And you weren't much better yesterday. So I guess I was just hoping I could help. I'm fine. I'm just hungry. Ruby? Yes? You know, I, I, I expect a little better service around here. Don't worry, I'm going to fire Elizabeth as soon as she gets here. Well, can I have some chili while you're waiting? Coming right up. You know something? You're almost as good at dodging as your father. But I'm a Spencer, too, and I know you're moody for a reason. <laughs> Is this something to do with Elizabeth? <laughs> Elizabeth, no. <laughs> she just reminds me of her sister. Which reminds me of how I wasted the whole summer working for the pompous prince. I thought you enjoyed working in pediatrics. I know the kids loved you. Oh, the, oh, the kids, the kids are the problem. Nicholas is. Lucky, isn't it a little bit late for Nicholas to be getting to you? I mean, you work together practically the whole summer. You have a volunteer credit on your transcript. You're headed back to school. Nicholas shouldn't even be a consideration. He's around. You know what really gets to me? You got some people who are so trusting. They don't know how to stay away from it. People like Sarah? Yeah. She likes him. I don't know, why not? She sees him in the pediatrics with the children. You know, and they're, they're, they're like Lulu. They don't know he's using them. That's not true. Bobby, listen. He saved Lulu's life on his uncle's orders. You didn't make that decision. He's nice to those kids because it makes a good impression. He doesn't feel anything for anybody. And see, Sarah doesn't know that. She, she, she can't see it. She doesn't know who the Cassidines really are. Look, I understand that you're concerned, but I really don't think there's any reason to worry. Nicholas isn't his uncle. Since when? Am I not my father? He's probably going to end up shooting Sarah like the Count shot Catherine Bell. Okay, I won't try to make peace between you and Nicholas. 
That's a good idea. But I'm not going to let you slander him either. He's not violent, and he's not malicious, and he doesn't try to hurt people. What about my mother? Every time she sees him, she cries. He wants her to. He enjoys it. She, he, he, he sets her up, so she'll tell him she's sorry. Why shouldn't you just pity him, Bobby? Nicholas is the same as every other kid. this lucky. Even your father has realized that Nicholas is not the same person as their father. Nicholas is in on everything Stefan does. Just think about this. Nicholas is dating Sarah. And he knows his uncle killed Steve Hardy. Far be it for me to defend Stefan Cassadine. But you might as well say the man charms snakes or commands lightning to strike at will. You want to give the man mystical power? <sighs> yeah. I'm just saying what Tom Hardy says. Steve Hardy died of a heart attack. No one ordered his heart to stop beating. And even if it could be proven, which it never has been, that the circumstances were partly of Stefan's making, what does that have to do with Nicholas? You dragged him into this, not me. Don't do this, Lucky. If you go around telling people, Sarah Weber in particular, that the Castadines killed her grandfather. I never said that. I never said that. What, what, what do you take me for, huh? Well, look, she could hear it for, from Audrey. She could hear it from any a number of people. It's, it's all around town. Well, I sincerely hope that doesn't happen. Because Stefan will not give a damn. He loves being blamed for things that no one can prove he did. It makes him feel powerful. And in the end, nobody's going to be hurt but Bobby. and those two girls. Bobby, it's Lucas. Oh, I, I, I hope Ruby's up to the shock of having to show up on time. It's... Ooh. Not quite. I'll get right to work. Hey, hey, what's the matter with you, Elizabeth? Actually, um, I'm worried about Sarah. I was thinking about Nicholas Cassidy and what you told me about him. Believe it or not, the guy's not my favorite subject. Well, I can see why after what you said. Whoa. <laughs> Listen, my reason for living is not to make anybody think anything about Nicholas Cassidy. You got that? You. <laughs> you asked what you asked. I said what I said. That's the end of it. <laughs> well, I'm just glad you warned me. I mean, Sarah thinks he is so wonderful. He is all she talks about. At least I know to steer clear of him when school starts and stuff. Why? Why, because I think he's a vampire? Oh, I just get the feeling that he could be worse. You know, him and his family. Hey, listen, he's got a private tutor. He wouldn't be caught dead in an ordinary school. I thought you said something was wrong with Sarah. Well, isn't it obvious? The girl is cross-eyed over him. Every time you mention his name, she starts bumping into things. How what? Well, does, does that make it your business? She is my sister. Am I just not supposed to care? Okay, granted, she does fall for some big airhead jock like every two weeks. But Nicholas is no airhead. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's trying to get her to kiss his feet. She doesn't even realize that he's using her to, to get back at you or to get popular or whatever. I don't want to think about this anymore. Don't you think somebody should warn her? I mean, and it's not like she's going to listen to me. You know, maybe she's just that dumb. She deserves what she gets. No. Nobody deserves a Cassidy. So what do you think we should do? We? You know what? I don't think I can work tonight. My mind's going like a million miles an hour. You want to go take a walk and we can figure out how to wake Sarah up? Elizabeth, Hi. I think Ruby's been looking for you. Well, here I am in plain sight. 
Watch, tell her to hold her horses. Lucky need to ask me something. 